Okay, it's David 160. This is part one, and here's a suspicious package story from yesterday, and it eerily kind of maps where we were with McDuff, talking about Fort Washington and the hammer, uh, you know, Brennan and Clapper throwing hammers at each other at Fort Washington, hammering different devices from Hillary and, and the Awans and uh, maybe even Trump's conversations as well from that Larry Klayman lawsuit. And so the, here's where all the packages went, a tw total of 12 in all. But you could not help think about what if the people inside these places were trying to send packages out, packages out to their inspectors general. What if there was a person here at Indian Head Naval Warfare Tr Center trying to send out laptops, hard drives, and Blackberries to their inspector general? Would those be intercepted or would reports be done on those? How about Fort Belvoir here? How about Anthony Tanger trying to send out the Awans, hard drives, laptops, and Blackberries with government markings? Who would intercept those with the Army? Who would intercept those at the at Central Intelligence Agency? It would have gone to McCullough before. Now it's being uh, handled by uh, Mr. Stone here um, as the Inspector General. What's happening to those? Are those getting beaten with a stone uh, and then being replaced with another server image by Becerra? Then, of course, here's DHS, where we had the hack of the Inspector General's system that still hasn't been investigated. And Mr. Roth here, as the Inspector General who left, left that uh, investigation dangling. So we have a kind of a whole scenario here, and I must admit, being in a new city in Milwaukee last night, I did have this dream of all of these uh, patriots who had sent stuff to the Inspector General being loaded into an Awan container by the shovel full with Rayo and uh, Imran down at the Navy Yard, drifting past here by the National Harbor uh, by Teresa Grafenstein, no, none other than Teresa Grafenstein, the Inspector General of the House, she was talking with Rod Wheeler, no less than Rod Wheeler, at the G4S headquarters. They were partying and having oysters in, uh, on the Potomac and half shell on the Potomac, saying these are things the Inspector General never does. The, the, the boat, the G4S, I think the, the ship was called the Liaison Operation, went right by Fort Washington here in that channel. There was Brennan and, 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 and uh, our good friend Clapper with the hammers beating all those but all that evidence into smithereens. And then finally, the ship went by. The liaison operation goes by Fort Belvoir there with Anthony Taggart trying desperately to, to hit the captain, John McCain, with an Awan uh, hard drive uh, to stop him from exfiltrating all the data to Russia and China. But that was just my dream. So maybe that did not happen. So in real news, uh, here's a British spy, Christopher Steele, and the a guy from RT that was killed in DuPont Circle, a guy named Lesson, uh, was now, uh, we learned that he was bludgeoned to death in a hotel room. What, does that sound familiar? If you ever stay near uh, SEIU headquarters in Brooklyn, you'll know what that feels like. Or if you stay in D.C. near a bunch of fake Masonic cops, you'll know what that is. And we'll move right along here to Christopher Ray doubling the staff to respond to Bob Goodlatte from the uh, judiciary's request for documents for the 1.3 million documents. This is, of course, a prelude to an excuse for Rod Rosenstein's appearance in front of the Judiciary Committee on April the 5th, saying, we just don't have enough time, we just don't have enough staff for your document requests. And then finally, for all the Q fans out there, saying, what's the vendor? What's the vendor in North Korea? Well, we already know it's Conceris and Litos, right? Litos and Conceris, if you don't remember, uh, Mr. Klotzworthy standing next to the latest and greatest EB-5 rocket in here he is. There's, uh, I did multiple episodes. And on a serious note, what I'll do is I'll make a concert, well, I'll make a, a North Korea uh, a playlist for everybody to go through so for those people that do Q, uh, so you can see all the different company connections that the CIA has with Lidos and Conceris in North Korea. And that's your morning report.